Friday morning. Usually don't see me on Friday, you see me on Wednesdays. But this week we swapped with Natalie because I believe she's out on a boating trip with um, with Frankie today. So that's um, that's where she is and I am here with you and I'm so excited. <laughs> and actually, I just made a big mess on my table here because I'm trying to lay out all the different colors. And we got so many colors to show you today. Um, if you gonna hear anything in the background, I have got a puppy this Monday, which um, bless her, she's so so cute, but she's in her little crate. But um, you might hear her in a bit making some noise. Like she's gone quiet, she settled down. She goes in there like and within a couple of minutes she settles, so she's good. But you never know. So just like warning you, <laughs> if there if there's anything in the background, that's our new um a new puppy she hasn't got a name yet i need to name her i need some really good good names so she's a golden doodle and um, she's going to be a nice sort of large medium-sized dog and um she's got like longish hair so we, we need a good name for her good morning brenda nice to see you here how are you doing right okay morning victoria as well i'm going to turn you down and i'm going to go to the color options and I'm going to show you how to start and how to do the stitch and I'm going to show you how to put a clasp on there. Although my clasp is bent um, array here, um, I'm just going to grab, like for the demo, I'm just going to grab a color because there's so many different colors here to, to, to choose from. If you're going to start um, kind of <laughs> going down on the route of choosing colors, we're going to, we're going to be here until tonight. So... Just quickly saying hello. Good morning, Oli Molly. Good morning, Camille. Um, Bella, yeah, I do like Bella, Camille, actually. Um, the kids are not so keen on Bella. I do like Goldilocks, and then we could call her Goldie for short, but the, but the kids are not keen on that name either. So, hence, the pup hasn't got a name yet. Um, I was, I, if you continue long this, it's going to be called either a puppy, <laughs> that will be her name, or it will be Missy, <laughs> because that's the two things I'm calling her at the moment. <laughs> good morning, Lucy. Mandy, good morning. Sharon, good morning. Elaine, good morning. Good morning, Dave, David. I hope you are doing well. Okay, so um, there is two things I need to tell you. We have got um, one. Where did I put? I did, did write it down on the paper, but I just um, have a look at it quickly. We have got some um, discount um, codes for the weekend. So there is no um, sort of. Oh, there we go. Here we go. There is there is no sort of percentage of today on the kids because we have got our discount voucher. So spend five pound. Uh, well, no, spend thirty pound and get five pound uh, five pound off. With the code is five A U G, short for August twenty two. Spend fifty pound and get ten pound off, um, which is ten A U G twenty two. Or spend a hundred pound and get twenty five pound off with twenty five A U G twenty two today. So I just wanted to sort of like tell you that straight away right now, and then uh, I'm gonna show you. Um, I'm gonna show you. Gonna, I, I'm quickly going to take you through the website. So let's go to the website quickly and then um, I am going to show them to you in real life because I've just got so much to show. So by now, <laughs> you know the drill what we do. So you're going to go to totallybeats.co.uk. You are going to click on video tutorials here or you're going to go into categories and click on video tutorials. There it takes you to the same page. Hundreds of tutorials going back like last so more than two years now. Um, Laura I placed it today, which is a chevron stitch with su using super Jurors and size 11 Taho seed beads. A very, very easy stitch. Once you get started, you will be able to, like, it gives you a really nice texture, like a fabric-like texture, like a ribbon-like texture. I, I really do love it. And because the super Jurors have got two holes on them, they bind the pattern together. So it's really, it's really good. What is this little thing doing here? Let's X the add. So we have got many, many colors, because <laughs> okay. 17 colors, there was 18, but one of them <laughs> stuck, like you know me, I, I can't just have one. So there is definitely a color for everybody here. Now, this does make one bracelet, but it needs a lot of um, super jewels. So if I'm going to click in here, it's 30 grams of super jewels you need, which is three bags of the super jewels. You need... Um, 
seed beads as well and pretty much you're going to use up the 10 gram bag and also need a four strand magnetic clasp and needle and thread um so very sort of just a couple of materials but giving you a really nice sort of pattern to 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 work with right okay so i'm going to come down on my mat and actually i did put um i did put this in the order I'm going to come here. Oh, they're on the website. So I really had to zoom out, but I'm going to lift it up for you so you can see it. So the first one is the Luster Metallic Olive. Because, and I actually need to move them off my mat as well anyway. So I can I have got room to demo here as much as I just kind of like, like to put them out and look at them all. If they, this something like this, I would one day, I would really love to make like a cover for something because I think it would be so, so nice. So... Luster metallic olive coming in a beautiful come on focus on it. I don't want to focus you in the background Oh camera come on with me. I might have to change and focus in with the camera and zoom in that way So there we go That's better um, Luster metallic olive a beautiful color. I like that there's yellow is coming through the seed bees themselves just sort of like a hint of a hint of yellow and the, it's a really dark metallic olive uh, super juice i really do love those next one is the matte metallic flax so metallic flax is the name and i'm <laughs> gonna get caught because like i haven't finished like not the ends all the ends are on the bracelets and i have to say a huge 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 thank you to brenda um that helping me to she she was making most of these samples up really um so i can show it off to you because there's nothing like seeing the finished like even though the clasp are not on there but you can see the finished article what it would look like so that's really great to have so this one is metallic flax i love that color of uh, um super jewels next one is sued dark green this one is a beautiful as well so here i chosen a somewhat a little bit more sort of a matte finish for the super jewels and a total matte finish for the seed beads as well so it's more sort of toned down definitely a winter color um there so the next one good good morning joy trish is here brenda uh, mandy adelina so i'm not trying to ignore anybody but <laughs> just going like sort of sort of smithy susan is here susan smith um she's saying how about honey yeah i did think about honey but again the kids are not like we got a list and then like they're not really they're not really like you know they want they want lola lulu or lily and i was like well my cousin called lily and just like you know i, w I would like something a little bit different mary good morning so good morning carol is here good morning brenda lee good morning um fudge your fudge is good as well but it's like I, i'm not sure if i <laughs> want to be down in the seafront and shouting fudge fudge <laughs> um or anywhere so this one is what did we call this one let me just scroll down so i can give you that this is the metallic suit pink so this is more like a burgundy color um uh beautiful i love 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 this like sort of amethysty burgundy color it, it goes with a lot of things because you can wear it with pinks but equally you can wear it with blues in and greens as well um goes perfectly with like olivey colors as well so if you're wearing like um an olive top something like this you can definitely sort of complement it um they'll be saying the colors are raining thank you Marigold, yeah, I did think about Marigold as well, but uh, again, <laughs> Lucy said no. <laughs> Mary, Marigold was one of them, and and actually Sarah um, Millsop, I was talking to her yesterday. She said like, oh, she kind of looked like rose gold. <laughs> so definitely we'd call her Goldie, but never mind. Um, good morning, Richard. Um, is here Celia? Good morning, um, Kelly. How about call her Goldie? Yeah, I love Goldie. But um, I don't know. I've got Goldilocks and then shorten it for Goldie. That's for caramel. Um, yeah, that would be good as well. And Jane said, love this button and the color is kitty. Thank you so much. Um, how broad the bracelet will be. So it's going to be, um, you start picking up with four. In each row, you're going to add four super jewels. But if you see, there's eight lines of super jewels, which is just over an inch um, width. 
and then obviously the length is as long as you're going. And um, morning Sue. Um, Lucy's saying, oh wow, like it's a pink one, Lucy, pink one here right now. <laughs> Your favorite. Lona, good morning. Oh, I'm coming to sing orange pastel. I haven't even got to the orange pastel yet. <laughs> You're coming to sing orange pastel. Look at all those pink ones. Um, good morning, Karen. Lucy, pop the link in. Thank you very much. Um, Rent has been busy, yeah. But you know what? Once you get started with it, like it does grow really quickly. Um, good morning, Sheila. Nice to see you here. Call her Crystal. Oh, Coco. One of my friends' dog called Coco. So we can't have Coco. And one of my, I like quite like Ruby as well, but we got a Ruby already. Um, sort of in a friend's, they got a dog called Ruby already. And it's like, it's always like, oh, well, who, well who's, which Ruby are you calling? <laughs> my dog's called a Treacle. Yeah, I do like Treacle as well. Right. Okay. What well, a lot of choice. Alison is saying Fleur Door Doglet. Oh, that's so cute. Um, Name her shark, then down at the beach. <laughs> Camille, I think that would not go down very well. Can you imagine? I'm the, I take her down to the beach and, and I, I call, I'm calling her shark, shark, shark. <laughs> good morning, Amelia. Nice to see you here. Yeah. Um, Maxine, good morning. Um, so, Rosie, I do like Rosie, but the kids didn't like it. Um... Lucky, yeah, Lucky is nice as well. I'm trying to stay away with L because I've only got a Lucy, and like they say, like you should you choose something different, right? Okay, back to beading. This is pastel pink, so the I just realized that the picture on the website is not quite correct. So pastel pink is a little bit darker, and we got another one coming up, which is going to be this one. I'm just going to put it next to it. And this one is the powdery pastel pink. So the pastel pink is a little bit darker and the powdery pastel pink is the lighter one, but they got the same picture, but I will get um, I will get Scott to update that after the live. So just when you look at it on the website, the pastel pink is this one, the powdery pastel pink is this lighter color. So next one is Pearl Court Light Lilac. So we kind of like named them by the super duos. Um, it's, uh, it's got the grapeseed beads with it. It's a beautiful lilac color. I really do love this. Um, very nice, like not too bright. It's like it's a, it's, it's a pastel color, but it's nice, nice to sort of look. Next one is the Pershine Aqua. I love this one. And I love the seed beads. <laughs> All these ends. <laughs> love the seed beads with the, use the metallic seed beads with this one. So it really stands out. Again, it's a beautiful color. I know like... I mean, it's supposed to say, and we like we're going out from the summer, but something like this, I like to wear even into the winter because um, you sort of, when you wear, wear something a bit brighter, it puts a smile on your face. Like for me, it's definitely. Next one, next one is powdery lilac. So this is more sort of a muted, like a more like a, a tanzanite color. Um, again, beautiful, beautiful color. I love this one as well. It goes with everything, jeans, whites. Blues, purples. Next one is powdery pastel maroon. This is kind of like red, but it's not like the seed beads are definitely like a cherry red color. And let me bring this um, in for you to show you. And the supergers are red, but they have got this sort of white wash over them. It's a really beautiful color. So it's like red, but it's not too strong red. But you can wear it with all sorts of different things. Um, the next one is the powdery pastel orange. Again, a beautiful color with those orange um, seed beads. I love those seed beads, those metallic seed beads. They look really, really good. Um, next one is powdery peach pastel. So this one is more um, like sort of got a rose hint to it um, ra rather than sort of orangey. And uh, the the super just got like a roast into it, and the seed beads more like they have got still a rose, like a dark rose to it, but it's got like a tiny bit of red in it as well. I think that they just go really, really nicely together. So powdery pastel pink, the lighter one of the pinks. Next one is a duh, and I love this color. It's powdery taupe. Um, it's like a grayish color with a hint of brown in it. I, I love this color and I do use it in quite a lot of things because, again, this is, goes with everything. Grays, blues, 
blacks, <laughs> greens, everything. A very, very good color to have. Next one is the satin metallic teal. Again, using those beautiful metallic seed beads. Next one is the sued gold blackened. So this is definitely one of my favorite colors. Um, it's not gold at all. It's got like a lilac tint to it, like more like a sort of a pink champagne color once you put it together. But it's like how they call the super jewels, how the manufacturers name the super jewels, like the colors. Um, you have to go with it, but it anything vintage um, color to it. I really do like that color. Next one is the suited gold blue. There we go. Lighter blue. And I've got, <laughs> I've got the ends. I'm going to have to, I will finish these off. Um, lighter blue super jewels with darker, the nebula seed beads there. And last, this is another one of my favorites. And I have used these colors together a few times before. This is the suited gold cloud dream. So it's like a silver, a silvery color, but it's like an ivory silver rather than like it's got like a little bit of warmth to it. I really, I love this color. Um, again, something like this goes with everything. Should I just thank it, Cross? Thank you. So I'm gonna grab one of them out. I'm, I'm, I'll leave them at the top there because I don't really want to have all these threads <laughs> here to tangle up. But we're gonna add them on to. Um, a class I need to go and grab the class um, and I'm going to show you how to start and how to do the stitch and how to add the class one there so I'm just going to move these up a little bit this beauty so so many Brenda's so thank you so so much for doing this because I got that one here I might as well just demo with that one those beads I'm going to grab a class out and then we can get started there we go Oh, she's moving about she's awake <laughs> hopefully she will be quiet she's she's a good girl really i kind of grumble at her at all she has been a really a really good girl um i don't know like she's very chilled out when we went and picked her up very very chilled out like really laid back but well, we'll see i think her little personality will shine through they they always shine through later don't they um but i'm really looking forward to sort of get to know her more and to go out with her go on walks with her um at the moment i'm just trying to get her into a routine and um and it's we're doing we're doing quite good so far with her touch wood <laughs> very like touch wood Right, okay, so super duos and um, where do I put my threads? Uh -oh, I'll move my threads. <laughs> I'm always looking for something in this room, and I was tidying up yesterday um, and moving things about. Oh, yeah, there they are. I'm moving bits about, and actually, I grabbed the bracelets, and I'm going to show you what we'll be doing next week as well at the end. So I'm just going to grab this one, will be a perfect color for it. So thread my needle and we are ready to start. Camille is saying coffee, absolutely. Penny saying dogs are the best little souls ever. So I always had a cat. I never ever in my life had a dog. I always wanted a dog, but it's just like it's always worked out, but we never had one. And um, <laughs> for the last six months, we've been thinking about getting one and I was looking all the different breeds and sort of um, like, you know, reading up about them. And, and I was like, shall I, shall I not, shall I do it, shall I not do it? And, and I was sort of going backwards and forwards um, for quite some time. And then this last weekend, I just decided that like we got really September when the weather is like sort of going to be okay and it's going to start raining afterwards. So if I'm going to get one this year, like I have to do it pretty sharpish. And now, my, now my, where is my scissors gone? <laughs> I have to get one pretty sharpish so I can toilet train it um, before the winter comes in. So I did it last weekend. Uh, I was like, yeah, I'm going to do it. And um, I went and got her on Monday. 
she's really really cute right okay so with this stitch you're going to start on one end and you're going to work your way all the way to the other i'm going to zoom in i don't know we just zoom in here first and then see how much more we need to zoom that we should be quite good so you're going to start on one end you're going to work your way through the other end um so there is you like you don't need to leave a very long tail maybe about 10 inches because or, or so maybe even leave a foot so you can um, attach your clasp on that end and then we're going to work all the way to the other end. So you're going to start by picking up the following pattern and with super duos they have got two holes but the front and the back is exactly the same so it doesn't really matter how you pick them up or which hole you're going through. The only advice I can give is to, is, uh, to sort of turn it up when you're picking them up and just look through the other hole that I, I all or some like most of the time I remember sometimes I do forget because there's nothing more annoying like you get one super duo in a thousand where the other hole is blocked and when you're coming back on yourself in the pattern you are trying to um you're trying to go through the hole and and, and the hole is blocked um was it not toilet trained when you got it through coming from a reader it would be so breeders definitely like you need to pick up a puppy between like eight and ten weeks and they don't like sort of like you know they it takes weeks for them to learn um she's really good like we haven't like touched wood again <laughs> really had any accidents she's good good going outside um at the moment we work like i'm taking her out every two hours but i'm working on like we will be working that, that she can signal when she needs to go out. But it will be a, a two, three, four weeks and I think we will be fine. Right, so the following pattern you're going to pick up, you're going to pick up one seed bead, one super duo. You're going to pick up three seed beads, one super duo, three seed beads, one super duo, three seed beads, one super duo, three seed beads, one super duo. So three sets of... Um, three seed beads you want to see between four super jewels and for the very last one you're just going to pick up two and I'm going to pull this all the way down and when I am down I'm just going to turn this and I'm, I'm going to suspend this in my hand so you can see it better so we're going to be going backwards and forwards between the other holes of the super jewels they be asking is this thread hungry not too bad but you're going to probably have to join um, a thread somewhere down the line and good morning Debbie so one and I got a spider on me hmm. um, <laughs> one there's so many spiders coming in the house at the moment it's unreal one seed bead one super duo three seed bead one super duo three seed bead one super duo three seed bead one super duo two seed bead and then without picking anything else, we're going to go back through the other hole on the very last super duo there. And I'm going to pull this up just like that. Then I am going to pick up one seed bead, one super duo. And what the sort of the first one is a uh, um, slightly bit, I guess, different because we've got three seed beads in front of us. Um, but the second row, when we come back on this half, then every single row, it's going to be like that. So I am going to go come through the very next seed bead, just like that. And I'm going to pull this up. I did pull quite a lot of thread. There we go. And I will pull that one up. So now I like to hold on to the sort of the end of my work between my middle finger and thumb here so it's kind of not flip flopping about and I can keep it nice and straight and then next step is without picking up any beads I'm gonna go through the next the free hole on the next super duo on my tail and I'm gonna pull this up and you can see that it's already kind of like starting to do the pattern for me um, they sitting on 90 degree angles. So I'm picking up one seed bead, one super duo. I'm going to go through the next seed bead on my tail end and oops, pull this up. Then I'm going to, without picking up any beads, I'm going to go through the next super duo. 
There we go, pull this up. Can you see if we're already having a nice little pattern? So seed bead, super duo. Going to the next seed bead, and if you can, like I usually, in the same stitch, I go through the super duo as well. So I went through the next seed beads on my tail, missed two seed beads and the other hole on the super duo. And pull it up. And there we go, nice and tight. Now I'm gonna pick up one seed bead, one super duo, and I'm just gonna go through this single seed bead here right at the end and pull this up. Nice and tight, and we are ready to turn around. So you can either hold this and, and sort of go up and down. Just, just hold it the right way. Just want to twist on me, don't twist on me. I know which one is end, but I got the three seed beads, that's that's my end. So even if you twist, you know you can twist it back because the three, 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 and like two at the bottom is your very end. So from here, I'm gonna turn around. And what I want to do is to kind of match the other side. And I'm going to pick up a couple of seed beads. And I'm just going to come back through this very last super duo I added, but through the fee hole. And pull this up nice and tight. I, well, I usually do this kind of like coming down on myself but like I naturally like to flip flop my bracelets so once I came down on myself and I pulled it tight I usually turn the bracelet around and then I'm stitching away from myself again for me that is just more natural and I'm gonna start doing the same thing again so I'm gonna pick up one seed bead one super duo and I'm gonna go through one seed bead and one super duo and now we haven't got the other two seed beads so kind of like you don't need to miss anything out you're going to go through the next seed bead and the next free hole on the next super duo and pull this up so seed bead super duo seed bead going through picking up seed bead super duo going through seed bead super duo and pulling this nice and tight and again, seed bead, super duo, going to the next seed bead, super duo. Next seed bead, super duo. And then coming through the very last seed bead. Maxine is saying, I, I took my puppy out every 75 minutes. And then I'm gonna, I'm right at the end. I'm gonna pick up two seed beads. I'm gonna come back to the super duo I just added. And then I'm gonna turn my bracelet around and let the tail end go because I got enough to hold on to now. And I'm gonna start again. And, and all the way through, this is all I'm doing. I'm picking up one seed bead, one super duo. I'm going through a seed bead and a super duo. I'm gonna add maybe a, one more row and then I grab a, another one and I'll show you how to add the end and how to kinda, or maybe we could just add it to this end. So if I do maybe a couple, two or three more rows, I can show you on this one. It grows quite quickly, like you wouldn't think, but it grows quite quickly because the super duos are not like they're not big but they're not small either they would say don't forget your coffee yeah my coffee is there i'm going to take a sip just in a sec <laughs> thank you you know sometimes it takes me like three hours to drink a cup of coffee because i sit down i start beating and i forget all about it good morning mina i hope you are well so every single time when we are at the end i'm picking up two seed beads Coming back on myself, then I like to flip my brace, bracelet around, but if you don't want to, you can just carry on keeping it flat, but then you're going to be coming back on yourself, adding the beads, but still adding the same thing, seed bead, super duo, going through a seed bead, and then the super duo underneath it, the free hole on the super duo all the way through backwards and forwards. So I love 
bracelets like this because there is the one person that she's really or she's really sort of turning around now so it's probably gonna be one one wanting out but the routine is like she i want her in the crate until like not like she's been out already <laughs> she's been out she comes out um when we well, like sometime like um it's only been a few days obviously but um i kind of like want to get in the routine with her that we get up at 6 a.m and um she's been pretty good and then we come down i let her out take her outside then feed her um and then um like you know just have a little play with her um once um the kids back to school then we will take we will all have to take Lucy to the train stop and like get Christopher ready and then she will go back in her crate and so then I can go and get um, ready for work and have a shower and get myself ready and then after that she will be would be coming out again having a good sort of again take her out having a bit of run around and then back in the crate for about I would say half past nine to eleven and um and then sort of she she could stay out because i could keep a better better eye on her in the afternoon and um you know same same in the evening as well so it just really depends um how we getting on but um she's really good like she goes in there and she settles down so she's really good she's a good girl I just need to name her and I don't know what name to give her at all. <laughs> I'm just like, I don't know. I think sometimes it's, I, I was saying to this a friend yesterday, like, I don't know how ever, like, how, how did I name my children? <laughs> how, how did I manage to name my children? But I think once you find the right name, it will be the right name. I'm just going backwards and forwards. We did something similar with check bar beads, uh, Mandy. Girly, yeah. I, I, I don't know. I'm keep going backwards. Like I would, I, I think I fancy something like a a name which is not really a human name. So like, if you do shout down at the seafront or or anywhere in the park, they're like, they know, like you calling your dog. Um, but then like. I don't know like I really don't know so if any reason your row and I'm gonna pull this up you your row would get loose because as you're pulling it through your your row got loose and we don't really want to see those threads at all so what you need to do you're gonna grab onto the two seed beads right at the end and I'm gonna pull on this and I'm gonna pull the sort of super juice down towards like in towards the middle of the bracelet and that will tighten up that side and then I'm going to hold on to the super juice in it been with my <laughs> like, a, like a little sandwich or or I think like you would uh, you'd hold um sort of anything really up between my middle finger and thumb and then pull on my correct current row and I might need to do this a couple of times to really tighten it up it depends how loose it was um when you pulled it through and then your thread bath will tighten up and you will have a tightened finish you kind of like want to have an even finish and even when i'm doing the stitching i will always like to hold on to my thread so once i am like go through the beads i need to go through so picked up a seed bead super duo going through a seed bead super duo i'm pulling it through and i usually i sort of wrap the thread around my finger and hold it <laughs> with the spare fingers and with my um, ring finger there so I'm not letting the thread traveling backwards and making my beadwork looser as I go along so I'm just going picking up a seed super duo and then going through a seed super duo when I get to the very end again seed super duo but then just going through the seed I'm not going through super duo right at the end, picking up two and turning around. And that's 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 it. It's very easy stitch going backwards and forwards. Nala, yeah, I do like Nala as well. She just think I can hear the seagulls. Yeah. So now like Kevin and Stuart, like we named the baby seagulls we had, they 
They kept coming back, um, and especially Kevin, because we fed Kevin a little bit longer. But now he, he they like we stopped feeding them probably about over a week ago, and um, a couple of weeks ago, and for the last sort of and for that a week after we are giving still putting out water for them. But now we stopped putting out the water as well, so they stopped coming coming back. Um, bless them. So they probably then on the seafront with all their seagull friends. Um, I do like they were so cute. They should he, I, he does he does still come back time to time. I has has seen him in the garden, but um, like before, like he would come back like three times a day, and then it was like oh we'd come come back morning and night, and and then now he's just like. I have seen him before like it's kind of funny because they all look like the same and uh, but like when he comes back I know that's him like I, I don't know it's a very um very strange feeling Maggie for the for a puppy I like Maggie as well I, I like Maddie um as well um I think that's a really nice name for a puppy Maddie um maybe like that could be short for Madison or just Maddie on its own I've got a little nut here. I quite like that as well. Um, Tove. That's I never heard that one before, Maxine. Um, Tove. Right, pulling it up. So I'm going to run it down. Adding this. And then I'm going to show you how to end the clasp. So once you come what should I pop am I am I am we still a couple of rows so no I'm gonna show you on this one and then I'll cut you up with no problem so I cut to the how to add the class bomb so first of all whenever you have anything like this you want to put the class max to it and you just kind of like want to see where are those seed beads are going to be joining your um, your loops now sometimes the loops can be a little bit um, uneven like further up or further down but it doesn't really matter because we can just come back out of different seed beads so the first thing we need to do is we need to go through and fill out the gaps in between our super duo so i really want to make sure i need to connect the single seed bead so like this single seed bead to this super duo first of all so i'm going to turn around by picking up two seed beads just like that and then I'm going to pick up a further two seed beads, one, two. I'm going to go down on this seed bead and come up on the super duo. Again, two seed bead. So I'm binding this end together. And you can see, like now, this end is matching the other end. So I'm just trying to get down to the bottom. One. Two. I'm gonna come out so now I'm matching the other side but I still have got gaps here and I don't really want to have um, gaps sort of in the end because like if I want to fit my um, loops like they kind of don't still don't match the <laughs> still, don't, still don't match where the sort of the gaps are so what we're gonna do I'm gonna turn this around and I'm gonna pick up three seed beads so we're gonna uh, we're gonna have we're gonna create a straight edge with our seed beads and this one and another three and I'm always going through the very last seed beads on those peaks to create this straight edge at the end and I get to the very last one and now pull this through again I'm going to turn this around I'm going to put my loops again right next to it and then you can see now it doesn't really matter we're going to turn around we're going to come through a couple of seed beads we're going to come out go through the loop again go through two or three seed beads come out go to the loop and all the way down magnet is uh, sticking to my needle all the way down you're gonna be 
sewing your loops to the straight edge and it doesn't really matter which one you come out so it doesn't matter if you go out two or three seed beads as long as you have got a nice sort of tension right next to it so i'm going to come and turn back so as i'm coming out of the very last bead i'm going to skip that one and just go through the two and then i'm going to go through a loop on the clasp there we go and then i'm back into the beads i'm going to let's say go through three beads here one two three and pull this up and then i'm going to go through the next loop and then i'm going to go back through so i identify which bead you're coming out of i'm going to go through the next three one two three then back into the next loop. There we go. And then through the next three. And there we go. And into the last loop. Now, mechanically, you have got, like you, you made the connection. And I'm going to go towards the end like to the very end, just like that, to the last three, and just leave my thread there for a sec. So, mechanically, we have connected our end of the bracelet to the clasp, and as you can see, every single loop is connected there. However, Zafir, oh, I like that name, Camille. Mm. However, I personally don't like to see the loops on the class, but I always like to go in and kind of tidy it up. So we're gonna add an extra row on there to hide those loops away. So I went right to the edge. As I'm coming out of here, I'm gonna pick up two seed beads and then I'm gonna go in the same direction to the last two seed beads. So we're gonna do like a little bit of a square, square stitch here. Then I'm gonna come through the two just added. I'm gonna pick up another two. And then I'm gonna come back through the next two, those two. There we go. This one I need. Oh, she's just laying here. She's she just a little sweetheart. So now, before, can you see? So my end, I'm adding these twos on here. But I need to kind of like tie this down to my loop as well. Because otherwise, the end is going to be flicking up. So that exactly where I am, I'm going to take this towards the back between the first two and the second two seed bead. I'm gonna just nip through that loop, just like that, and then go back down the two I just added. So with that, I'm securing the row sort of to the clasp as well. So we're gonna have a nice sort of neat row sitting on top of our loops. And I'm just going to kind of keep going and adding the seed beads as I go along. And every single time I'm kind of like above a loop, I am going to go and through that loop and strengthen the connection for the bracelet. Oh, Lucy saying, my dog is Lily, but I call her Stinky. Oh, bless. I think they all have, like I was still actually thinking about this yesterday because I need to like, you know, complete the registration. I need to phone up the vets and like or do all sorts of different things. And I was thinking like, does it really matter? Like, what am I going to call her? Like, we, we're going to have a nickname for her anyway, or the kids will 100% um, call her all sorts of different names. So just keep going and adding those beads at the end. I should have used a one size smaller needle, but never mind, we will be good. Just pulling this up. And then again, I'm 
right next to the second loop. So I'm just going to go down that sec through that second loop. Make sure this is goes between the right beads. Come up and then continue all the way down. And once you finish this, add this row of seed beads, then just go ahead and work your thread off. I'm going to come through you two. Come on, beads. There we go. And pull this up nice and tight. Then picking up the next two and so on all the way down. <laughs> Can we say they've run see what we call them? Yeah, probably. I just love like she's already got like little characters and like she's doing little things and and it's only been a few days, but definitely like she she she's got a lovely temperament to herself, but she does this thing like so if I if you are if you are in the kitchen and at the moment because she's a puppy she like she keep following me around. However, like if I step out or if I do anything um like like go around or go around the corner or come to the hallway, like she doesn't realise that I was gone. But but the minute she realizes I was gone, like she runs to me and sits by my side, and it's just she's just really cute. And then I put her into a little bed, um, and and she's like yeah, like you know trying to tell her to stay in your bed, and every, and every single time, and like you sort of you turn your head away, she would like just pour a pour out, and then. You look at her and she looks at you and she's thinking, Ooh, can I get away with this? <laughs> and then you look away again and she puts another paw out and like inch by inch, <laughs> she's inching out of her little bed. She's very, very cute. Right, so I'm just adding the last seed beads on here. So once your end is finished, you can... Um, you can just work your thread off. Now I just like to go backwards and forwards following any thread path and do maybe a one thread knot here or there but that's it there to it and on the other side you would do exactly the same. So remember we started adding we had the threes we added the twos here and then we added the threes so you're gonna obviously don't need to add the twos on this end because the seed beads are over there is where exactly are you you're just gonna pick up three seed beads and go through the first sort of peak will be the one which is like stick out the most and then you do this exactly the same process on this side to add your loops in to add your clasp in. So I hope you enjoyed that one. Um, there is, <laughs> I don't even know how I can show you all these colors. Let me just move this seed bead these out from here and um, I'll show you like a little bit of the colors again because you got 17 colors. <laughs> I think one of these days I'm gonna I'm, I'm, I'm one of these days I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a kit and I'm gonna have like a hundred color <laughs> it's just like there's there is one day in my life I have to do something like that to have like so 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 many colors um it would be so amazing like oh yeah we got a shade you like uh, you like this shade we got that shade um, it would be so great. I would be like in heaven creating all different color combinations. So let me just pull the website up so I can tell you the right name. So this one is the um, Suited Gold Cloud Dream. Next one is the Suited Gold Blue. When it says gold blue, like is, there is no gold in there. Oops, let's zoom out. There is no gold in there, but... Um, it's kind of like the coating, how they get the coating, the material as you put, they put in the, the coating as well. Um, suited gold mean dish track has got this like sort of shiny surface. Um, next one is suited gold blackened. Beautiful, beautiful color. Next one is metallic teal. Then we have taupe, powdery taupe. Then we have pastel pink, remember? The two pinks has got the same picture on the website, but this is the pastel 
um, powdery pastel pink. Next one is powdery pastel peach. Next one is powdery pastel orange. I love, love, love this one. Um, next one is powdery pastel maroon. And it's not like me to sort of like orange, but I think with, with the sort of the pastel orange and with this sort of stronger uh, metallic orange, it's just really, it's just really nice. It makes me smile. It's a smiley color. <laughs> next one is powdery lilac. And then we have pearl shine aqua which is the one we've been demoing with then after that we got pearl court light lilac and then we have got pastel pink so it's a little bit darker than this one but it's still still pink they need to move down a bit so i can fit the last few in um, next one is metallic suit pink which is um again it says pink but it's not pink it's more like an amethyst color but it's just how they name the super duo but it's because it's got that pink shine on it that's why the name pink is in the in the uh, sort of the title um suit dark green metallic suit dark green i tried to go for like a, a matte like a very muted um the color way this one again will be good with everything next one is metallic flags matte metallic flags i love and i put i put the gold with cream this time so it's like kind of like different i like i like the experiment putting gold with all sorts of different things last year metallic olive at the end and that's it that's all our 17 colors we have on offer today now there is no direct offer like on the kits but we have got voucher code which if you spend 30 pound you get five pound off um using five aug like the short for august um 22 then you get 10 pound off if you spend 50 pound using 10 aug 22 and you get 25 pound off if you spend 100 pound which is 25 aug 22 off the website now this is going to be going on um throughout the, the throughout the weekend as well um so do check it out and have a look um have a look which one you like i really love this pattern because you can just sit there and you can just pick them up and it creates this beautiful sort of fabric like fabric like bracelet she's really niggly <laughs> now so i'm gonna i'm gonna have to go and take her out kimberly saying my first dog was called wiggle wiggy for short as he was always wiggling his backside oh bless it's so cute thank you so much for turning up and watching us i really appreciate you every single one of you those blue seed beads are beautiful i do do like do do like those ones i want eight colors lucy is saying how long have i been beading for a very long time so i had totally beads um 18 years now well, but we have a whole it's like i need to i need to think we are in 2022 <laughs> And I started in 2004, so in 2022, um, you know, like, I, I never know what year it is, or like, I'm not, I'm not really good with, like, timelines, like, oh, well, this lasted two years, and that was three years, and, like, that was five years ago, like, I, I'm, I'm, like, time is, like, sort of, it's, like, squig all squiggly for me, but, yeah, 18 years, um, I had um, Total Beads, and um, started, like, first, my first ever projects I did personally, were um loom beading it was loom beading and then from there i started with like beauty stitch right angle weave and i know i they really didn't like right angle weave back then and now i like i can't live without it i love it i, I use it so often and um and all sorts of different square stitch i love square stitch i remember that one um yeah and it just like really looked back 18 years ago right okay so let me show you what we're going to be doing next wednesday so there is no live on monday because it's bank holiday monday but on wednesday it's going to be me and we're going to be doing this beautiful we're going to be using these beautiful um pearl tubes i had a little play with this in the creation station a few weeks ago and just really really liked it so and, and just put it together in a kit format for you so we'll be doing this next um let me just zoom in on it we'll be doing this um next wednesday it's using crystals and uh, miracle beads as well haven't used miracle beads for quite some time so i'm quite excited about these um you having making making these i i just like the sort of the windows what you can create with um those beautiful um tubes 
Um, and there are all sorts of things you could do. Right, okay, so thank you very much for watching me. Everybody have a beautiful weekend. I'm back next Wednesday morning on here, next Wednesday night on Kitty Robinson Designs. And um, have a beautiful bank holiday if you're in the UK. Have a beautiful weekend if you're anywhere else in, in, you are in the world, whatever you do. Um, keep on beading, keep on crafting, and I'll see you very, 